Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing this evening? Let's see, it is currently 5.59 p.m. and I'm waiting for my husband to get home. He uh, went and did cryotherapy today after work and then he's going to come home right after. And he was gonna take me over to Tanya's and then I was gonna go to the meeting with her. And then she texted me earlier and said that she wasn't gonna go to the meeting. So I had kind of planned not to go tonight. Um, and then she, I, I, I texted her and was like, are you okay? And then um, she called me and she was like, were you wanting to go? And I was like, well, I had asked Alex if he would take me over there, but if you don't want to go, that's fine, you know, whatever. And she was like, well, we can go if you want. And I said, well, now it's kind of like later in the day and I'm like getting stuff done and whatever. So I don't know that I can get ready in time. And she's like, well, it's either way. We can go or we can not go. I don't really care. And I said, okay, she's getting her hair cut right now. Um, so I said, well, let me see if I can get my stuff done and then um, I'll let you know like what I think. So anyway, between now and then I was like doing some laundry and Boo Radley was just spending a lot of time in his house today more so than usual and i didn't really understand why and so at one point he like followed me up the stairs and um i was like sitting at the table where i do my work because i was like um uploading my drama video and he came over and he like put his legs up you know or his paws up on me and so i picked him up and as soon as i picked him up he was like mm. and i was like boo what's wrong and so like i held him for a second and he was fine, and then he went, mm, again, like that. But it wasn't like an attention, it was like he was hurting, something like inside of him was hurting. So we had scheduled an appointment with the vet um, for when Alex gets back from Las Vegas. And I don't know, he just says, like, Boo just seemed kind of slow to me today. Like he's just walking around and, um, so I went and he, like, after that, he, like, went downstairs. And so I went downstairs to his house, and he didn't really want to come out of his house. Um, so I, like, I coaxed him out, and I held him on his back, and I, like, fell all over him. And then put him down on all fours, and I fell all over him. And he didn't, you know, like, make that sound again. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's... You know, a lot of people have commented on my video that they are, their older dogs have arthritis, and... You know, that was one of the things that the vet had kind of like insinuated when she put him on this pain medication, but he seems better when he's on the pain medication. So, um, I mean, he's had his morning dose. Alex gave it to him this morning. So I'm not really sure what's going on, like, um, but it worries me a little bit. So um, I just texted Tanya and I said, I'm just gonna hang out here tonight because I just wanna keep an eye on Boo Radley and make sure that he's okay and stuff like that. So. Um, getting the vlog done now before Alex gets home. I'm sure as soon as Alex gets home, Boo Radley will run upstairs and start acting crazy like he always does. When I took him out earlier, he was completely fine in the yard. <clears throat> he wasn't really running around like he usually does, but he sniffed around for probably a good 20 minutes and did all of his business. So I don't know. I hope the little guy's okay. You know, I think like all of us, when we get older, I'm sure that there are dogs that have days that just, they don't feel as great as others, you know, or whatever. Um, he doesn't seem like he's holding his neck one way or the other, which is like in the past when he's like, you know, hurt himself, like running after another dog or whatever is kind of how he is. Like he just is standing there like walking around, but he's like walking slower. And um, I don't know. I'm just worried about the little guy. So I'm going to hang out around here tonight and... Um, Last night, Alex brought home Thai food. He brought home um, fried rice. So I have a bunch of that left over, and that's probably what I'm going to eat for dinner. We watched The Real Housewives of Atlanta last night, and then he was going to watch Dubai, and I laid down for a little bit. And then when I got up, I watched Only Murders in the Building, and then I watched two and a half episodes of Midnight Mass, which is really, really good. I do have to say this. I'd be interested to know and anybody else that's watched Midnight Mass. Do you, did you guys feel like it was slow? Like, I kind of find myself, like, while I'm sitting there watching it, like, reaching for my phone and being like, doo, 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 doo. like, what's going on in Instagram? Like, I feel like there's um, some parts that are really, really slow with it. So that would be my only criticism. I think the show itself is very interesting. Um, 
I think I said this in my vlog yesterday, but it really, really reminds me a lot of, I'm gonna move this up a little closer. It reminds me a lot of From, that TV show that I watched on Epic TV. Um, a lot of the same kind of ideas. It's a heavily, I will say this, it's a he heavily religious show. Like, there's all this religious ideology, Catholicism, <clears throat> uh, weaved through this Midnight Mass show, which I think is interesting. Um, the last episode I watched, which was, I think I'm halfway through the fifth episode, um, like, something major happened in it, and I was like, oh, okay, I didn't expect it to go in this direction. So, um, yeah, I'm going to probably finish that up tonight. That's it. It's been my day. Got up today. Little uh, Boo Radley and I slept in. That was the other thing. I mean, most days he sleeps in, but he wasn't really wanting to get up today. And um, somebody's texting me. Hold on a second. Oh, it's my husband, so I will... He's on his way home. When he gets home, I'm gonna get off here and we'll go check little dog out and see, I'll see what he thinks. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, like he didn't really wanna get out of bed today. Like he was just like all cuddled up. So when Alex leaves and goes to work, he like goes on Alex's pillow and sleeps. And um, he was just being very, very sweet and, and gentle today. You know, he has that like fatty tumor that's like kind of like on his rib cage. And when the vet felt it, cause I thought when I picked him up, maybe, he's texting me again. He just like put that comment. I just texted him and said, okay, I'm vlogging. Um, when she felt the fatty tissue, she was like, it doesn't hurt. Like, no, I think this is just like a fatty tissue on him. It's not a, it's not tumorous or anything like that. So when I was feeling him today, I made sure to like feel that because, cause she said, if it changes and it causes him pain, like let us know and bring him in immediately. And um, so we were, or so I felt it today and he didn't seem bothered by that at all. You know, I think, on the heels of Tucker getting sick so quickly and going, I think we're like really, really like watchful of anything that's going on with Tucker. Um, so, or anything that's going on with Boo. So yeah, it just really, it makes me worried, you know? I hope the little guy's okay. So anyway, got up and did some stuff around the house, made the bed real nice today with all the extra pillows and everything. And then came downstairs and did some stuff and sat outside and drank coffee for a little bit and then um, made a drama video that I had kind of been planning on making for like two weeks. And I finally made it last night. It was on this YouTuber named Miasaurus and I had made a video like four years ago on it and I started getting all these people asking me to like make a follow-up video because she had done this like apology video recently. So last night before I watched, um, before I watched Only Murders in the Building, building and, and uh, Midnight Mass, I watched her two apology, she's put out two apology videos now. I watched them, one was 38 minutes and the other one was 51 minutes. <laughs> It was a lot to watch, you know, of somebody that you're not really that invested in um, and to watch about everything that she had to say. So I watched that last night and took notes before I watched my television shows. About one o'clock in the morning, I got really hungry and I made a little cheese sandwich and had some chips and dip out here. That was kind of fun. So yeah, today it's cloudy again. It's supposed to be, Caroline said something about going to the pool on Friday and I just looked at the weather and the weather on Friday is like 80 and partly sunny. That's not a good pool day. <laughs> um, and really it doesn't start getting, like we don't have like a full day of sun again until like the 5th of July or some, or 5th of August or something like that. So um, the last couple days have been cloudy. I mean, it's like really, really cloudy. Overcast and um, it's not super warm today. It's a little muggy outside, but it's not super warm. Let's see what the temp is right now. I'm gonna guess upper 70s, let's see. Oh, 73 degrees, lower 70s. And it was kind of cool last night and rain possible around 4.45 it says. 
Oh, 75, it just changed. Th thunderstorms tonight. Storms may contain strong, gusty winds tomorrow. And then there's a warning. Thunderstorms tonight. Storms may contain strong, gusty winds tomorrow. And then tomorrow is 84 thunderstorms. Thursday is 84 thunderstorms. 85, is, or Friday is 80. Considerable cloud, oh, considerable clouds early. Some decrease in clouds in, later in the day. It's not going to be a good day to go to the pool on Friday. And then Sunday is partly cloudy early, followed by mostly cloudy skies and a few showers. Rain, I mean, it's like rain like every day. Next Wednesday, a few clouds early, otherwise mostly sunny and 86. And then Thursday the 4th is 90. And then, hold on, Friday the 6th. Wait, Friday the 6th. Sun and a few passing clouds, 91. And that following Tuesday, 89, mostly sunny skies. And other than that, it's like cloudy. So, yep. It's going to be hard rain's going to fall. I'm going to read some comments off the vlog. A lot of people recommended TV shows to me. Some people recommended this show called The Chamber or Chambers or something like that. And I looked it up. I feel like it's not the one that people are talking about. It's called The Chambers. So if that's what you guys are talking about, let me know. Um, so Hazel said, I don't know if you ever got to Archive 81, but that one's a good creepy show to Ben. So I watched part of the first episode. I might, I might watch that this weekend. <clears throat> that's the one about the tapes and the building and all that kind of stuff. It was real freaky and kind of spooky. Um, but yeah, I only got like halfway through the first episode. And then, let's see, PJ said, hello, Peter, if you have HBO Max, you like to binge watch White Lotus, very good. I already watched White Lotus, I thought it was fantastic. Kayla said, the new American Horror Story is on Hulu, I haven't watched it yet. So it's the American Horror Stories, and I haven't watched any of them, Alex has watched all of them. Okay, hold on a second. Tammy said, Peter, I'm telling you, the documentary Class Action Park on HBO Max is everything. It's a one and done. I think two hours or less. It's often listed as like number three as the best documentary of all time. If you like abandoned amusement park videos on YouTube, if you like true crime, if you like remembering the days when you were early teen, if you like to laugh, if you like to cry, if you like to reminisce and it's for you. It's so good. I watched it three times now. Okay, I'm going to watch that. Class Action Park. I'm putting it right now on my list. Hold on a second. TV shows I'm watching. Next. Class Action Park. HBO Max. There. Got it on my chain or got it on my list. Okay. This was a cute comment, I thought. I saw this earlier. Kayla said, I honestly never know what to comment. I feel like when I'm watching your videos, I answer in my head what I would comment. But by the end of the video, I have no idea what I was thinking back to say. As always, I love you, too. Aww. Brian said Severance on Apple TV was excellent. I already watched that. I thought it was excellent, too. Brian also said he's going to uh, binge watch Midnight Mass tonight. Jesse said, I am speed catching up on vlogs after having a series of guests over. You are helping me pack up my house to move from Connecticut to Vegas. Oh, that'll, well, that'll be a fun move, but that'll be different. Connecticut to Vegas, like that's a, that's a whole different world, isn't it? Thank you for keeping me company, love ya.
Jesse said, Peter, you made me cry happy tears when you looked at the camera and read my comment. You have no idea how much you and folks in the comment section have helped me <clears throat> through some really tough times. I am stronger every day, but it just feels so good to have a safe and loving space on the internet of all places. Thank you from the bottom of my healing heart. Oh, Jesse, I really, really appreciate that. Um, and I'm sorry that you're going through a tough time. Several people recommended to me that I should watch Why Women Kill on Paramount Plus. Um, so I will watch that. Megan said, I'm so glad you're finally watching Midnight Mass. It's my favorite show I've watched in a long time by far. Monique said, a couple people uh, commented about the truffle mayonnaise by Truff, which really surprised me, or the Truff brands in general. Like, I didn't know that they were that well known. Um, cause when I got it, like when they sent it to me and they were really, really nice and they actually contacted me on Instagram too. And they said, do you need more products for us to send you? And I was like, no, nope, we're good right now. I mean, they sent me like a big box of like all of their products, which was really, really cool. Um, but Monique said, oh my gosh, I had to stop buying the truffle mayo because I was putting it on everything. It's so delicious. Megan, oh, this is Megan from earlier. She said, I'm on vacation at the beach and fell down the stairs last night. Megan, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. So I'm having to ice my foot and relax this morning, just catching up on vlogs and doing a Schitt's Creek puzzle. I love that. We need to clean off our dining room table where I do, um, like I work on the computer because I have these puzzles that are really cool that I bought during the lockdown and I still have them down in the basement and I really want to do them. Um, Uh, Christina recommended the movie Mama, and I have watched it. Um, Amy said, I think I've watched it. I'm almost positive. Um, let me look it up really quick. Maybe I haven't. I don't know what the movie was that I was thinking of, but that's not the movie. I don't think I've watched that, so I will put that on my movie list. Amy said, I will be making those raw apple muffins scrumptious. I tried an orange bread recipe before and it was good, but it didn't call for orange peels. Thanks for cooking baking with Peter. If you ever find your mom's orange bread recipe and if you're okay with sharing it, I would totally make it. I have it. I know I, it's inside somewhere. She has, I have one of her old cookbooks that was like this cookbook that I had when I was a kid from like my elementary school. You going to the pool? Yeah. What are you reading? Game of Thrones. You're always reading Game of Thrones. It's a big book. Your little pool cover-up is cute. Thanks. <laughs> Have fun. Bye. Um. Hold on a second. I have the orange bread recipe somewhere. I just have to find it. It's either in the bread maker, which I still like. It's in the like we have it in the, the box and stuff. And I I used it. Did I just use it one time to make bread? I think I did make her orange bread in it, but then. There's this cookbook that, like, my elementary school put out when I was in elementary school, and we, like, drew pictures for it, and I, like, drew a picture of, like, sp uh, spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> I'll have to bring it on here and show you guys. And then my mom did her raw, raw apple muffins, but I think there's, like, she has her orange bread recipe on, like, a, a note card that's just, like, in there. It's a really easy recipe, you guys. It's not difficult at all. It's like flour and sugar and yeast and orange peels or something that's super easy. Shaylin said this would be a great weekend to start back reading. Sit on the front porch with snacks and something cool to drink. I totally agree with you. I saw that. I was like, yes, that's what I'm going to do this weekend. So anyway, lots of comments and I appreciate it. Thank you. Let's see if we've received any more since the last one was by Elise and she put three blue hearts. Um, so yeah. I don't have tons to talk about today. A lot of walkers in the neighborhood today. Who, somebody just texted me. Who's that? Oh, somebody left a voicemail, but I didn't even hear it ring. Hmm. <laughs> about booze medication um what was I gonna say about when we can pick it up I sure hope the little guy's doing well 
He's just sleeping down there in his house right now. I hear a car that sounds like Alex's. So if it's his, I'm going to get off here. Oh, it is. All right, you guys, listen. I'm going to get off here. And I will be back in... Oh, well, Boo Radley's barking, so apparently he's okay. Um, I will be back in uh, two and two to um, finish the vlog. All right, I'll be back in just a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, we're not really sure what it is. Boo seemed fine when Alex came in, and then um, Alex sat down on the couch and was like, come here, Boo Radley. And Boo didn't want to be picked up. So finally, Alex picked him up and... Um, like looked him all over and stuff and he said well he's shaking and he seems like he's like he's like visibly shaking not horribly but a little bit we were like wondering if he like maybe got bit by an insect or something you know like a, like one time we had i think it was peepee -pee that got bit by a spider but he's not acting like how peepee -pee acted then either so alex brought him outside and um he was completely fine outside but then as soon as we went inside <clears throat> um, he like picked him up and he like made that noise again so we're kind of Alex was like did he like jump down and like hurt himself off the bed this morning and I said I don't think so but um, I mean if he did I didn't see it or hear it so I don't know anyway um, if he gets any worse we're gonna call the vet they have a you know 24 hour service and we'll call them or whatever so we're just kind of watching him right now. Alex is making some dinner, and he is going to um, watch Boo Radley while I finish my vlog. So I'm not going to vlog for a whole lot longer, and I know I keep on saying I'm going to do these long vlogs, and then they're short vlogs, and I say I'm going to do short vlogs, and they're long vlogs, but um, yeah, I'm just worried about the little guy, so. This is my half-drank water <clears throat> from Kirkland, from Costco. I have to tell you the thing that's interesting about this is, <clears throat> you know, like when you open like a can of soda, because this is carbonated, you know, it's like you open a can of soda or a bottle of soda and like the next day you go back to drink it and it's like flat. Like this is flat, obviously, compared to yesterday. Like you can see, I don't know. Well, this won't do it, but because I'm just closing it right now, you can, <laughs> not a good example, but um, it doesn't taste bad. In fact, It still has just a little bit of carbonation, but it just almost tastes to me like, um, what do you call it? Like purified water. So I almost kind of prefer it like the day after. My neighbor from next door, he just like walked by when Alex was out here taking Boo Radley out. And um, his wife had told him, because I was telling her about how my neighbor across the street always asks me, are you working? And so he said, jokingly, he was like, are you working? And he was like, I'm just going to ask whenever I see you sitting out here as a joke. I was like, I'm not working right now. Working. <laughs> anyway. So apparently we're going to have some rain tonight. The grass is, like, green. I mean, it was, like, brown, like, dead for a while. And now the grass is green. It looks really nice. They haven't cut it in, like, a week and a half because we got, like, sent some email that they weren't going to cut it because it was so dry. And now it's, like, really long. They haven't cut it in, like, a week and a half. So I think they come on Fridays. I don't know why I feel that way, but I feel like they come on Fridays. As soon as I get this done, I'm going to go inside and I'm going to um, heat up my fried rice. Minus broccoli, add pineapple, veggie fried rice. <laughs> it's so good. I always get them to uh, take out the broccoli and add pineapple to it. I love pineapple with everything. I love pineapple with pizza. This will be the, this will be the comp this will be the thing that I say in the video that gets the most comments. <laughs> Watch. I love pineapple with pizza. I love pineapple with fried rice, definitely. I love pineapple, pineapple, just straight. I like pineapple with fruit cut. <laughs> what else? I like pineapple juice. I love pineapple, I don't know why. People will be like, ew, pineapple on pizza, that's disgusting. 
<clears throat> do you know what's interesting is <clears throat> when you try things that for a long time, like you thought you would never like, like I've always, that was a quick swim. That was a quick dip. How was it? It was good. There's nobody there. Is it warm? Yeah, the water feels pretty good. Good. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? For you guys watching this, this was probably like five minutes since you went up there to swim, but for me it's been like a half an hour. Um, but it's funny, like when you try things that you thought you would never like, that you like, like I can remember like, oh, so I've always liked like uh, french fries dipped in ranch. Like that was something I think I started like in high school and I liked. But then like, I, I can remember one night at Tanya's, she didn't have any ranch, but she put like mayonnaise and we had like gone to like Wendy's or something. This is like years ago. And, um, she put like mayonnaise and ketchup like on the kitchen table and we were like eating off paper plates. And so I like took a paper plate and I mixed like can it, uh, can it, uh, ketchup and mayonnaise together, which a lot of people do. Right. But I had never done, I'd seen people do it, but I had never done it before. Loved it. Fell in love with it. I actually love French fries just dipped in mayonnaise. I really, really like that. And, um, then I remember Sarah one night here, we got pizza to watch a movie. This has been like years ago like uh, she was visiting one night or visiting one time out of town does my phone keep on going off what's going on it's alex in the kitchen he's right in there in the kitchen <laughs> doing stuff um so she had ordered pizza and she got a lot of ranch dip with it and i can remember thinking to myself like oh ran like pizza with ranch dip so good like i'm obsessed with it now i love it and then the other thing was Alex started getting pizza from Hotbox Pizza, but he got it with, um, shoot, I can't remember what now. The, uh, the hot peppers on them or something like that. And it's so good. Like, I love the hot peppers on, it's not, does he put the jalapeno peppers on it? I can't remember what it is, but it's like really spicy and it's really good. I love Hotbox Pizza. Do you guys have Hotbox Pizza where you live? It's on a lot of college campuses, and you can get, like, um, like, the deal that they have that they're known for is that you get, like, a large, like, pizza with, like, breadsticks or breadsticks or the bomb with, like, cheese or marinara, and then you get two drinks, and their drinks come in these plastic cups, of which, no lie, we probably have, I mean, we, we probably, somebody did text me. We probably have 20 or 30, 30 of them inside easily. Um, so, um, yeah, I love those cups. We use them for drinking water and everything. Everything we use them for. My battery is at the halfway mark, so. I think actually my vlog from yesterday was like right at a half an hour. I think I... It was at like 29 minutes and 45 seconds, was it? And thank you for all of the birthday wishes for Valerini on the vlog. I haven't even told her yet that that's on there, so she'll have to go through there and read all those. Um, but anyway, tomorrow I have going to make videos. And then, oh, you know what I did not do is I, I did not, I made my list. So I started making my list on my phone, my daily list. And I didn't look at my list to see what I did today. Okay, I'm vlogging. That's part of my list drama video I didn't make videos on my other channels okay make bed meditations and coffee um not going to the meeting so we can cross those off laundry did laundry and uh called about booze medicine so I got a lot of things on my list done today I need to make my list for Wednesday oh she texts me again I'll call Valerie after I get off here so that while the vlog is rendering and I'll tell her about because I was going to text her about the comments, but I'll just tell her about that when I get off here. Oh, man. It's a nice night. Well, maybe if we get some rain tonight, then tomorrow I can pull up these weeds. I think my appointment is... Oh, so I tomorrow I'm going to make videos. And then I think I have my appointment. I put it in my calendar book, but I think it's at three tomorrow. Um, no, it's at one tomorrow. I have an appointment with my therapist. 
So I have that tomorrow at 1, and then nothing on Thursday, and then Friday, Caroline and I are going to hang out together. Okay, my battery died, so I had to go inside and get the other battery um, to finish up my vlog. So I, I don't even remember what I was talking about now. I was talking about... I think I was talking about what I was doing for the week and therapy tomorrow and videos and videos on Thursday and videos on Friday and hanging out with Caroline and then Alex is going to Las Vegas and it's gonna be a fun relaxing weekend for Peter and Boo Radley. We're gonna hang out here. Um, I'm gonna like, I think on Thursday, I'm gonna like wash all the linens. So I've decided that like, I'm gonna like wash all the linens and then, so I have all fresh sheets and blankets and stuff on the bed. And then I'm gonna like, I haven't, my shorty pajamas that I bought, like I haven't even really worn them. So I'm gonna like lay those out on the edge of the bed so that at night I can get in. And then like, I'm gonna pull up like Love Boat or Fantasy Island or one of the old shows that I used to watch when I was with my mom. And then we're gonna like watch that like as we go to bed. <laughs> Because I kind of like sleeping with the TV on, but Alex can't stand it. So, um, this weekend I'm going to fall asleep with, like, Love Boat on in the background. Love, exciting and new, come aboard. Nothing scary. Because I'll be watching scary stuff out here. And so, when I go to bed, I'm going to want to watch, like, things that aren't, you know, scary. Like Love Boat. Or Fantasy Island. <laughs> or Heart to Heart. Oh, my God. I loved Heart to Heart back in the day. Do you guys know what it's about? So it was this couple, and they were, like, really, really rich. And they had this, like, driver, butler guy. I can't remember what his name was. But anyway, <clears throat> and um, it was with Robert Wagner. I can't remember with the woman who the woman was, but I loved that so much, and I wanted to be them so bad. And they would always, like, uh, it was kind of like Murder, She Wrote. You know, like, wherever she goes, there's always, like, a murder that happens. But it was kind of like Murder, She Wrote or Moonlighting. Oh, God, I loved Moonlighting. Moonlighting was probably one of my favorite shows with Bruce Willis and, uh, well, I can't think of her name. It starts with a C. Um, I don't want to say Cindy Shepard, but that's not it. Sybil Shepard, Sybil Shepard. Um, uh, but I loved that show so much. I'm going to watch one of those kind of shows as I go to bed and little Boo Radley and I snuggle into bed and... Yeah, I'm excited about it. So, that's it. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Oh, and then Friday I'll probably do a cookie, a crumble cookie review because Caroline will take me to crumble cookies. And then I'll have those crumble cookies sitting here <laughs> for all weekend long. Last night I ate a little bit more, well, right before I was going to bed, I ate a little bit more of the maple glaze crumble cookie and it was so good. So anyway, you guys, listen, I'm going to get off here now. Um, I know this is a short vlog. This weekend, I'll probably do longer vlogs since it's like just like me, you know, um, sitting around here. So anyway, um, I hope that you guys are having a magically amazing uh, Tuesday. And uh, let's see what else. Uh, you can start your day over whenever you want. Practice random acts of kindness, but don't tell anyone. And make sure that you reach out to somebody and let them know how much they mean to you. And that's most important. Uh, most importantly, make sure that you reach out to somebody and let them know how much they mean to you. And thank you for um, joining me for this little conversation on the front porch. It's like we're hanging out on the front porch, having a conversation. You see, you're sitting in that chair over here, over there, and I'm sitting in this chair over here, and we're having a front porch convo. <laughs> Just front porch talk, which is why I uh, titled my video yesterday, Front Porch Updates. So anyway, um, thank you, Glamour Shots, for coming over to the front porch and hanging out with me. And I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Love ya.